doing a little digging reconnaissance after the storm. My neighbor lost his dock box, so we're gonna check see if we can find it. It was right up over there. Let's see if it floated down the canal. Don't know if we're gonna see any damage from the storm. I don't know if that dock was damaged by that storm yesterday. Head on down, see what else we see. His is tied up. It must have floated on its side. We'll take a look down here at the main part of the canals here. The winds were generally blowing in this direction, at least the worst of it. And if the tide was coming in, I would think it would be somewhere over here. Right in front of this house on the road is where I found the cushion for our meridian after Hurricane Ian blew up in their yard and they put it in the trash dump but we found it. We got lucky with that. See a bunch of dock boxes around here. But it's like they own them. A lot of people nail them down to the dock so they don't float away. Oh, there's one over there. Underneath the dock. That's probably his too. I wonder if that boat is taking on water. The tides are still pretty high here. We've got this onshore wind out of the south blowing all the waters up into Cape Coral. The canals are abnormally high even if the storm passed us yesterday. Coming up to one of the eight lakes here in Cape Coral under Skyline Boulevard right here. The houses over here got hit really bad during Hurricane Ian. You'd be surprised how much this small lake with the open water created a lot of fetch and waves, flipped boats right upside down at the dock. anything. One of my fears is if it's sunk right in the canal and then it's debris that's sitting under there that during low tide we get hit with our boats. Here's a lot for sale. Anybody interested? Right on the corner of the lake. Going back under the bridge, under skyline. this direction. I've been seeing a lot of coolers around. I'm sure they were blowing all over the place on the storm. This house is still damaged from Hurricane Ian. Another thing I gotta look for, my neighbor lost his planks for his dog to go in and out of the water. Some 2x12s. Island lined up. There's a piece of a piling hanging on the side there. Old Ian damage to the dock. Well, I'd be surprised if it came all the way down here, so I'm going to pull a U turn by this power cat. Exactly a catamaran sailboat with the mast taken off. Yui Yui here at the junction. Pull down one of the neighboring canals. We got piling washed ashore over there. It's a friend's boat that we wrapped it up with a couple months ago. Town. Some umbrellas, plants blew over. Oh, this pontoon looks like it's on an angle here. And there's our old pontoon boat. The original after hours. 
neighbors bought it. We missed that. Oh, there's all the pumps. Hey guys. <laughs> I think I found my neighbor's dog ramp. I'm gonna have to send him a picture of it. That's what he uses to get onto the pontoon, I believe. I think that's it. Or maybe it's this one, with the yellow rope on it. This dock is quite a bit underwater. It's a little lower than the seawall. All right, so it turns out both these boards are my neighbors. So I picked them up and I'm towing them back to his dock. All right, that's my good deed for the day. fiberglass types. I don't think they float. Ken and Robin's boat, paying our adventures. They're looking all right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, water's getting pretty high again. All the old cantilever concrete docks going underwater. hours took out Hurricane Ian ended up in this yard and look who that is all right home sweet home time to pull her right back out of the water my nifty dinghy lift just a Harbor Freight DC winch motor that I hooked up to a remote battery box. Works pretty good. Just made a quick disconnect so I could take it all apart, bring it inside, charge the battery up when needed. Nice and easy to work on too.